Hello, I'm John Butler. I'm here from Ireland for World Wood Day 2018 in Siem Reap in Cambodia. And I'm just going to put together my instrument, the Ilan Pipes, which is an Irish bagpipe instrument. So the first and most important part of the instrument is the chanter, and this plays the melody. Um, I make this instrument myself, and the timber I use is Indian ebony. So that's the chanter. So the Ilan part of Ilan pipes. Ilan is the Gaelic word for elbow, and under one of my elbows I will place this bellows. So to put it on, first of all I strap to my arm. And the second belt goes around my waist. And this allows me to fill the instrument with air. So as I move my elbow in and out, I get an air stream coming out from here. And this is the part of the instrument that makes it a bagpipe. So I have the leather bag, which I plug into the bellows. So now as I pump, you can see the bag filling with air. And you can see how my two elbows are used. My right elbow for pumping and my left elbow for controlling the pressure in the bag, which will feed all the different pipes. So now I have to assemble some of the drones, which these are pipes which give a constant background noise. So on this set there are three drones, they're all in D. So I have a small, which is the tenor, I have the medium, which is the baritone, and I have the long bass. They're all in D, but there's an octave between each of them. So a, middle, a high D, a middle D, and a low D. On what makes the Irish Illan pipes the most evolved bagpipe instrument in the world are these additional pipes that sit on top. There's two on this set, but you can also get sets with three and even four. And these are called regulators, and they allow the player to play additional notes beyond the melody on the chanter, the background noise on the drones. There are also these additional accompanying noises. Now, I may need to just do a quick bit of tuning. So I plug in, the chanter is now plugged into the bag, and this main stock feeds all the other pipes, all from the same bag. So, uh, the wood in this instrument is Indian ebony, the main wood. There's also some Castella boxwood. And in fact, there's a reed in these instruments. All of these parts have a reed. And sometimes I use a wood called spruce to make the reeds. So when you assemble them, you just need to do a bit of tuning. So I just check the A on the chanter. And now I want to tune my drones to this. So that's my high D drone. So now this is in tune with this, and the next step is to tune the other two drones to this drone. So I leave this off by pulling this trigger. So now these two drones are in tune. And these are in tune. That's three, three drones. 